What's up, it's Outer Lives from Anima Audio, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you a trick to make these granular sounding delays in any synth without using any effects. Here's a patch we're going to be making. Also, I created this bonus patch that uses the same technique, and I thought it sounded really good, so you can download this and the patch more video in our free Essentials for Vital pack linked in the description below. And if you like these softer ambient presets, we created a preset pack called Aurora filled with a bunch of lush ambient sounds. You can check it out in the description, and if you like the skin I'm using, it's also included in that pack for free. In this first section, I'm going to be creating the bass sound, so if you just want to know how the delay effect works, I've left a timestamp in the description. Starting with an initialized patch, I'm going to go into oscillator 1 and set it to the basic shape's waveform. Then, I'll link envelope 2 to the level of oscillator 1 and set up a plug that looks something like this. Since we're going to be using an oscillator for our delay, make sure not to use envelope 1, since that controls the global volume, and we still want the delay to be able to ring out after the note. Instead, I'll use the release to control how long the delay takes to fade out. Now, I'm going to set filter 1 to a dirty 24 dB low pass and turn the cutoff down an octave. Then, I'll turn up key tracking and link it to envelope 3. On envelope 3, I'll turn up the decay and release, and set the sustain to about halfway. Then turn the attack up a bit, but I'll be adjusting that later. Since this is just a sine wave, the filter won't really do much, so I'm going to go into the wavetable editor, and delete everything but the sine and saw wave, and then drag them to both ends. Set the blend mode to spectral, and give the sine a few harmonics. Now, I can go back and link one of the macros to the waveform position to control the harmonics, and I'll also link it to the filter cutoff to brighten up the sound even more. Now, to make the sound a bit more expressive, I'm going to link the velocity to the filter attack, and also link it to envelope 3's modulation depth. This way, on higher velocities, I'll get a more bright, transient sound, and on lower velocities, it'll sound a lot softer with the smoother filter movement. Now, we're going to make the sound a bit bigger. I'll start by adding a bit of unison and turning it down to 2%. Then, in the effects tab, I'll add a reverb and a compressor after it. I put the compressor after the reverb to help bring out the tail while also brightening it up a bit. Now that we have a bass sound to work with, we can start to focus on making the delay sound. I'll start by turning on oscillator 2 and copying the waveform from oscillator 1. You can either remake it, or open up the editor and save it, then load it again in the new oscillator. Now, instead of using an envelope, we're going to open up LFO1 and create an envelope shape, then link it to the volume of our oscillator. This will create a repeating envelope, similar to what a delay would sound like, and we can use the tempo to adjust the time of the delay. If you want to control the feedback, or how long it takes to fade out, you can change the global release on envelope 1. But, if you want to control how it fades in, you're going to want to use another LFO. Link it to the modulation you just made. Then, create a ramp up and set it to envelope mode. This will slowly fade in the volume of your delay, so it doesn't overlap with the dry sound we made. Now, to get that granular type of delay, I'm going to open up another LFO and link it to the oscillator pitch. Since I want it to go up two octaves, I'll set the value to 24 and create a step sequence like this. All this is doing is changing the pitch of the oscillator every time it hits a new step. Since I wanted to go up two octaves, I set the modulation amount to 24 semitones, and since I have a quarter note delay, I made it step up every quarter note, and then turned on envelope mode so it doesn't repeat. This way, 
Every time I hit a note, the delay will start at the original pitch. Then, every quarter note, it'll go up an octave to create that pitch shifting sound you get with a lot of granular delays. Since I also want to control the brightness of the delay sound, I'll turn on form and scale and link it to macro 1 so I can change the timbre with the main sound. I'll also link the wavetable position to the macro so it's the same as the main sound. Now, you should have something that sounds similar to this. Once we have that delay set up, I'll turn on oscillator 3 and show you how to make a slightly different delay. I'll start by selecting the same wave tipple as before, but I'll open up the editor and change the saw wave to some random harmonics. Now, I'll set up a new delay on LFO4, but I'll make it ramp up instead of down and link it to oscillator 3. Make sure when doing reverse delays, you give the LFO some space to fade down so you don't get any popping. I'll make this one a bit faster and set it to 8th notes this time. Also, I'll link LFO2 to the mod depth like I did with the last one to get the delay to slowly fade in. Then, I'll set up a formant scale, and link it to macro 1, and also link the wavetable position like I did with the other oscillators. Since the delays sound a bit overwhelming, I'm going to add a 24 dB bandpass to both oscillators, and turn it up an octave, then turn on key tracking, and give it a bit of drive. This is similar to turning down the spread on the delay effect, which helps soften the high and low frequencies so it doesn't sound as overwhelming, and can be a good way to clean up long reverb or delay sounds in general. Also, instead of using the LFO we created to get a pitch delay sound, I'm going to be using a random modulator. Set the mode to sample and hold, turn on stereo, and link it to the oscillator's pitch, and set it to 24 semitones. I'll also do the same with the other delay, and also link it to the bandpass cutoff too. This should change the pitch of the delay every quarter note, but to get it to be in key, we're going to open up the matrix tab and select one of the random modulations and create a step pattern like this in the mod remap. Then, turn on bipolar mode and do the same for the other two. Since we set the modulation of everything to 24 semitones, instead of using random values, it's going to snap to either being 12 semitones up, down, or stay at the original pitch. From there, that should be the entire effect. You can add another delay on top of it if you want even more, but for now, I'm going to show you how to get a ping pong style delay. If you're using another synth, you're going to have to do this a slightly different way, but I'll show a few examples after this. I figured turning up the stereo knob on the LFO would give it a sort of ping pong style delay, but it didn't really work the way I expected. Instead, you're going to want to double your delay time and make the shape take up half the LFO size, then turn up the stereo knob. Since the stereo knob offsets the left and right side of the LFO, It'll start alternating between being silent on one side and playing on the other, similar to how a ping pong style delay would work. Also, since we set the delay to be half its original speed, you might want to change the pitch LFO to be half the speed too. Now, you can repeat the same thing with the other delays you have, and you should get a more stereo sound. If you're not using Vital, or you just want an easier way to get a ping pong delay, you can use another LFO. Make it twice the length of your original delay, and create a shape like this, then link it to the oscillator pan, and you should get the same effect.